Hi, my name is Amy and I'm back to show you how to make a letter A and the tools I'm going to use tonight are a pair of wire cutters, a tool that actually helps you make round shapes, and a pair, another pair of flat nose uh, needle nose pliers. Uh, to get started I'm using 12 gauge aluminum wire and the intent is to be able to attach the letter to the bottom of the hanger making a monogram hanger for my shop. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, basically tonight I'm going to be doing a letter A so I'm going to start now just so that I can tell you this the length of your wire is going to be determined based on the size of the lettering that you you want to make. I have a pretty good uh, length of wire here to, to just so I made sure I didn't run out of wire while I was making the letter. I'm going to go ahead and form the top of the A by placing the wire around the middle circle here um, just to give it a, a rounded top so that you can see um, what it looks like there. Looks like a, the beginning of the A. Now depending on how long you want it my my uh, needle nose are actually marked for because I make the wire names for bridal hangers, so mine are marked based on how you know I want to make each letter. So I can I can already uh, use what I have marked here. I'm just going to make my lettering about the size of the opening of the pliers, which is the circle part here. I'm going to hold on to the wire, and I'm going to start out just by looping it around like so and kind of lining it up where I want it to be when I'm going to actually do the crossover over here to the other side. Alright, then I'm going to take my pliers, hold on to that wire. I'm going to wrap it around and then have it come over here to this side. Now you can either leave the wire to where there's an opening like that if you like that look or you can line it up straight and squeeze the, the pliers together like that if you want. Even after you do that you can actually move it around if you still want it to come up a little bit. No, that's fine too. Up to you. I find the easiest way to make a hoop even though I'm going to go ahead and cut it off is just go ahead and swing it around. Complete it like that. And then I'm ready to do the, the next side which will be, I do a lot of eyeballing, which will be like that and I loop it around around the back of it and again this can be as big of a loop as you want to make if you want it to be you know wider you can do that you can use your hands and along with the tools um, either way is fine if you want your your A to be a little bit thinner you just don't make the hoop up here as wide. You can actually just use your, your flat nose too if you want. Um, that's up to you. What I'm going to do now is just take the cutters, cut it off where I don't need the excess wire, and then you have the A completed. But if you want to make it, you know, make the end a little bit uh, more finished, you're bringing that piece of cutted wire down into there a little bit more. You can just take your pliers and do that. And then there you go. You have your A and it's ready to be attached to your hanger. Typically what I do is take an excess piece of my aluminum wire, cut it and make a little piece to glue it into the bottom of the hanger and then it just freely hangs from the bottom there uh, without being attached too tightly. So if you have any questions, feel free to uh, give me a comment, ask questions, anything that you would like to know, I would uh, love to hear from you. And uh, thank you again for stopping by. Have a good day. Bye.